Welcome back to Puzzling in Two Worlds. Before we get into my next video, my next puzzle, there's just a couple of things I wanted to touch on. One was, I was really touched and moved by the number of people who had actually said they had, had missed my channel and had missed watching my videos over the last four or five months while we were away. As I'd mentioned earlier, while we were away, it was very difficult for me to do jigsaws. For one, we were busy, and two, the place we were living in had such poor lighting, it made it extremely difficult. So I really didn't do any, and that's why you didn't see any videos. But now that we're back, I'm uh, very pleased that uh, actually people are happy to see me back, and I'm actually happy to be back doing videos again. But before I start my next video, I also wanted to introduce you to a good friend of mine who has started her puzzle channel. She just put her first video up very recently, and the name of her channel is The Puzzling Canadian. Um, this person is a good friend of mine. We've puzzled together in competitions, and have plans and hopes that maybe we can both someday go to Spain to world championships. So we're kind of working towards that, but a great lady has got some really good ideas for puzzles and things. So I just wanted to recommend her channel to you and suggest that you uh, check it out. I'll put the link for her first video below in my description box, but uh, do her a favor, help her get going and check out the puzzling Canadian. I'm in my puzzle room today. Uh, the weather's chilled. It's not as nice as it was. I finished my first segment of my large puzzle. So, decided I need to try something a little smaller, a little easier for a little bit before I tackle panel number two. And then I also watched a video from another friend of mine called Jeanette and Her Puzzles. And in that one, Jeanette took a 500-piece puzzle and she did it with she, she actually did three 500 piece puzzles. I'm only going to do one. I found one here. But what she did was is she did the 500 piece puzzle and she did a what she called a detailed sort and timed herself. And she found that it was a very good way to do a 500 piece puzzle. Her, her time was very good. Apparently she's practicing to go to Spain to world championships in September. I'd love to be there this year, but not this year, maybe next year. But anyway, so what I've got is I grabbed this puzzle here, which I've had for a while and been meaning to time myself on. When I do a 500 piece puzzle, I normally open it, dump all the pieces, just flip and start putting them together. I can't seem to get my time down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this puzzle. I'll take the cellophane off because I, that way I'm going to, because I'm going to do it more than once. I'm going to do it two times. I'm going to do it once my way, just opening it, dump and flip, put all the pieces together, time myself. Then I'm going to take it all apart, put it back in a box and try it again, doing it the way Jeanette does it by doing a detailed sort and then putting it together and seeing how the times compare. Understandably, the second time could be a little bit faster based on the fact that I've done it once already, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. So I'm going to take the cellophane off, set myself up, and set myself up upstairs actually on my kitchen island just because it's got a nice big countertop. And got my camera set up there, my tripod set up there. So I'm going to get this ready, set the camera up there, and I'm going to do the first go around is going to be my method of just flip and assemble. Dump and flip, as somebody else calls it. Okay, let's go do that. Got my timer here, got my puzzle. So the first go around is going to be just what we call a dump and flip. So let's see how that works out and see what my time's like.
Okay, so I finished the puzzle. The Garden Birds by Ravensburger, 500 pieces. Um, you may have noticed that my uh, time lapse stopped a little early because my battery died. And that's probably because it took forever to do this. Absolutely way too long. My time was one hour, 59 minutes. I'm not proud of that one at all. So now what I'm going to do is take it apart, put it back in a box. And now I'm going to try it the way Jeanette from Jeanette and her puzzles does hers and sort first and see what kind of time I come up with. So let's do that. Okay, finished it the second time. It did go faster, but I suppose I have to keep in mind that I've done it once already. That might have taken a little bit of time off. I'm not sure how much. What was my time this time? My time this time was 138.14. So that's a difference of 21 minutes. I don't think it got 21 minutes faster by doing it once already. There might be something to this sorting. I'll have to try it on some more puzzles and see. So far, I guess I gotta thank Jeanette and Jeanette and her puzzles for uh, showing me a new way to do them. Even at my age, I suppose I could try something new, but uh, for now, I guess it, that's the end of this video. That's, I guess what we'd have to say is, is that the results point to sorting works better than just dumping and flipping. So, we may have to go with that for a while. So I think we'll end this video. So if you like it, give me a like. I gladly accept any comments and, do my, and I'll answer whatever I can. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. With that, we'll leave it there and catch you on the next video.